Welcome, welcome to Hikate's Crossing. Today with the Fairy Lights Tarot, we'll have a look and see what cards we have. Okay, let's have a look. Card number one, nothing's for that, so we'll just do card number one. We have the moon. Okay, so the moon is very much about um, unconscious awareness. Um, facing your fears, your enemies, um, being loyal to self, reflection. Um, the moon is very much about what um, what do you need to reflect on at this time? What are you actually afraid of in um, moving forward? What's your enemies? Who are your enemies? Are they... Um, something physical, um, an emotional state? Is it something within yourself? Um, is it outside of yourself? That's something to sort of think about. Sometimes our enemies are actually ourselves. We are our own worst enemies. So we need to really reflect and contemplate and decide where we are actually in this cycle of life. Um, which stage are we? Which phase? is really important to sort of think about with this um, card here. Okay, so that's card number one. Okay, card number two for today looks at, we get the four of wands. This has come up quite a bit in readings and things on Instagram. So four of wands to me is very much about celebrating um, stability, foundations, a sense of um, nourishing your creative energy. Um, this is sort of an unusual card in, in regards to um, the art, what the artist has created here. Um, this one here it looks like he's sort of stealing an egg of some sort. So, um, you know, you can sort of make up your own mind what this card sort of means to you, maybe personally. But for me, it is about creating some stability and foundations in regards to your ambitions and what you want to achieve. So maybe this guy is um, taking this egg to um, nourish, to feed, to create the stability in his family home or within his life. You know, he's feeling a bit undernourished in some way. So maybe that's what he's doing here. So it's something to sort of think about. You know, what's the Four of Wands? What's this card? This guy, he's pinching this egg and this um, this bird's flying towards him and saying, no, 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 that's my baby. What are you doing? You know, it's a sense of, you know, so sort of what's he sort of taking away so that he can create what he wants and his and his desires for his um, life to create the stability and foundation that what he wants. What's he taking away from somebody else? Something to think about. Okay, card number three. Let's have a look. We have the full. New beginnings, new adventures. Um, what else have we got? New adventures, new beginnings. He's a student of life. He stepped out of the darkness into this void. He's um, not really watching where he's going. Um, it could be a sense of not being really sort of aware of the dangers that lie ahead. He's pretty oblivious to it all. He's like, oh, yeah, just get on with life, you know, have a bit of freedom, freedom to do what he wants. There's no restrictions. It's all about having some fun. Um, so what else does the fool say to you? Okay, I'll get one more card. And we have the Queen of Wands, very much about passion and about um, being fiery and um, really sort of um, creative, nurturing, nurturing that creative energy, that spirituality, that spiritual energy, um, very much about looking at your passions, um, maybe an artist in some way, um, very artistic, um, very, you know, a bit of a player, you know, having a bit of fun life. Not really a player as such as like a gentleman, but more of a, as, um, you know, no carefree sort of woman, just enjoying life. There's just no stresses, no worries whatsoever. Okay, so we look at today's cards. We've got the moon. 
Okay, so the moon reflected reflection. You know, what do you need to reflect on that's really of value to you right now? Because what you have here is a sense of creating some stability and some foundations in your um, career or maybe in your ambitions, in your, um, you know, what lies ahead for you. So I feel like this could be very much about job related could be um, maybe there is some new beginnings you know you've ended off you've been feeling like you've been in a bit of a dark space um, you've stepped into the light and you're ready for some new adventures but what's ahead haven't really sort of decided yet there's no steps actually be, to be taken and it's all about having some fun in life maybe you need a job that's going to give you some passion allowing you to sort of nurture your creative outlet in some way so that's really something to sort of think about in regards to um, over the weekend, think about, you know, what do I want to achieve? Where do I want to go? Um, how do I nurture my ambitions and what I want? So let's have a look at the affirmation cards for today. Okay, so let's have a little look-see. Okay, so we choose one here. This one here seems to be calling, and it seems to be cleanse, uh, choosing my res responses. Okay, so I know that you can't, I don't think you can actually see the words on this. It's choosing my responses. Okay, so I'm just going to read it out to you. No one has the power to annoy or upset me unless I let them. I am not a robot. I do not have to respond with fear or anger at all times. Today, I choose not to give my power away to others by reminding myself. No one has the power to annoy me. I am peaceful now. I choose freedom and peace of mind today. And the affirmation, my peace comes from within. So take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. My peace comes from within. My peace comes from within. No one has the power to annoy or upset me unless I let them. I am not a robot. I do not have to respond with fear or anger at all times. Today, I choose not to give my power away to others by reminding myself. No one has the power to annoy me. I am peaceful now. I choose freedom and peace of mind today. My peace comes from within. It's how you choose to respond to how others react. Take care and blessed be. Have a great weekend. Thank you from Hikate's Crossing.